Hi everybody, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. I have just opened a YouTube channel for my son Michael. I started making videos with him and it's so much fun. But how is this related to a technical aspect of the Canon R6? Well, it is. What I'm gonna say is pretty much related to one of the biggest issues of this camera. The overheating. So what about it? Let's start from the beginning. I bought this camera a few years ago, January 2021 I believe. Yeah, and I love it, seriously. Just as I already mentioned in many of my videos, there are a few things that I would fix, that I would change about this camera. One is the quality of the 120 frames per second, which is not really great, let's say. It produces too much digital noise. And the other issue, it overheats, especially in the summer. But let's see, does it always happen? Okay, in many of my videos, until a few months ago, I remember saying that that this problem, the overheating, doesn't really affect me because of the way I work. Because when I shoot professionally, I generally use two or three cameras and I switch from one to another every so often. So the Canon R6 doesn't have enough time to overheat when I work. Problem is, I noticed when I make videos for YouTube. Lately, it's happened to me a lot that it overheated. So the problem was brought to my attention more and more. If we are YouTubers and we, we create create content, we better not use a Canon R6 because it would overheat. No. Am I contradicting myself? No. I'm gonna explain it to you. One factor that I didn't take into consideration is that this overheating issue, besides the fact that it happens mostly during the summer, wouldn't happen very often last year or two years ago. So what's different now? Now I have three YouTube channels. One in English, this is the main channel, one in Spanish and one in Italian. So if before opening these two extra channels, when I would shoot my content, I would just set the camera, press the red button, say what I have to say, shoot my beer and done in 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes now these 20 30 minutes should be multiplied times 3 because when I make a video for my main channel since I'm there I film also the Spanish version and the Italian one and this is how the chance that my Canon R6 will overheat skyrocket so like if I shoot a regular video presentation like this, the speaking part, 10, 15 minutes, and then I shoot some B-rolls, the chances that this camera will overheat are really, really low. I had confirmation of what I'm saying recently, a few days ago, because I have opened a YouTube channel for my son, Michael. He insisted so much, so I didn't put any pressure. He put pressure on me. He kept insisting. And it's not something that he's been saying just in the past few weeks, but years so eventually Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. I have to admit it's a lot of fun it's definitely a lot of fun because my son is the one who comes up with the idea with the story and he's actually a pretty good storyteller for his age I don't know exactly what it was maybe it was just uh, my imagination I decided to go to see what it was and then you're not gonna believe what I saw and I have to put it into a movie Let's say I put my technical skills and gear at his service. His channel is for kids, of course, but since I'm taking care of the shooting, sending the lights, the sound, the music, the editing and everything, feel free to check it out. I'm sure you will find it entertaining. So far, we made a couple of videos and even though it's been really fun working with my son, and the final videos are not really long. They're actually very short, but I use the Canon R6 and each time it stayed recording a lot of time to test the light, the sound and everything. And then even though my son is a very good actor, it runs in the blood, I guess. We 
had to repeat the same scene multiple times, like in different parts, different angles and stuff and things. And not only, after finishing his videos, I was able to shoot one video and three shorts for my channels, my own channels. The Canon R6 never overheated, not once. So making this YouTube channel for my kid made me think more, made me think better about this issue of the Canon R6 that yes, the issue is there pretty much, but it depends on how we shoot, how we use the camera. Let's say we press record in 4K60, but even 4K 24 frames per second, and we record for 20 minutes, then we continue for another clip and we shoot another 20, 25 minutes, as I usually do since I have three channels instead of one. Chances are the camera will overheat and it will make you waste so much time. But if you shoot like cinematic things, small clips, just a scene, and then you shoot the same scene again or from a different angle, chances are it would not overheat at all. Or if you use it for YouTube to create content and you have only one channel, unless you keep recording for 30 minutes straight or you keep talking and you make three videos, 25 minutes each, well, unless you do that, it's not gonna overheat. I have to thank Michael, my son, for asking me to make his own channel. Oh, by the way, his new video is a horror story. He came up with it. I just transposed it into a movie, a very short one. So make sure you check it out. I actually enjoy making videos with my son, Michael, so much. Even though it's like a channel for kids, it gives me the possibility to create, to transpose the story, the story that Michael creates into a movie and since it's not one of my professional works I have so much freedom you know you're not working for a client and you're not part of a big crew where you're just a small part of it they just tell you what to do and get it done no or like this YouTube channel that whatever I shoot whatever I film no matter how cinematic how beautiful how great it is what do you think I will always have to justify it, to justify my creation with a technical reason, like something useful, camera specs, or a video making technique or color grading. Well, with my son's channel, that's not happening. It's just pure fun. And also, I get to connect with him and bond so much more because I feel like we share something, like a passion we have in common. And I promise, I haven't pushed anything on him. I haven't forced him in any way. I can say he forced me. That's so weird. Who would have told me that my first shout out for another YouTube channel would have been for my son? Alright, I think I don't have anything else to say. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh yeah! Bye bye!